Generation Euro is Ireland's leading economics competition for transition year students. It challenges students to take on the role of the ECB's governing council and predict the ECB's main interest rate. We were really excited to, to come here to the Central Bank. It's such an honour to be here. We are more excited than nervous. Okay. We want to do our best. The essay required a lot of work because there was a lot of research to go into it. We did more research, picked things we felt should go into it and then studied those. Uh, the first round we had to pass a quiz, so that took probably two or three weeks. A huge amount of work, uh, we have spent a lot of weeks. Good morning everyone, I'm delighted to welcome you all here today to the National Final of the Generation Euro Students Award 2016. Harmonised Index of Consumer Prices, HICP, was 0.2% annually during 2015. It is gravely troubling for the ECB. We question how much of a risk are the ECB willing to take to boost inflation. The goal of the ECB is to boost inflation to just around under 2%. The rate is currently at dangerously low rates at 0.1%. If the ECB does go for a negative interest rate, in my opinion it wouldn't do any good for the economy, it would simply damage it further. Keeping the rate at 0.05% for six weeks was an acceptable decision. What do you think are the most important economic indicators the European Central Bank would take into account? Well obviously there's the inflation and then currency rates from outside the Eurozone. We have four schools represented here today. They've actually come top from over 275 individual entries. The winners of the competition are brought with their teachers on a team trip to the ECB in Frankfurt. My name is Javier Capilla and I'm the captain from the team Euro Champions. The economic analysis focuses mainly on the assessment of the economic and financial situation. When inflation exceeds an annual rate of 2%, the central bank responds by increasing interest rates. In 2004, uh, it was at 2.1%. This is good because this is where the ECB wanted it at, close to 2%. Uh, you mentioned the need for support from fiscal policy. Tax cuts and more investment in public infrastructure would inject more liquidity into the real economy. We have attempted to predict the ECB Governing Council's interest rate decision. The stock market crash in China, while brief, has unnerved many shareholders and investors. Despite liquidity levels increasing, quantitative easing may dilute the value of the currency it's being introduced into. The rate of inflation does rise at a steady rate. It would help promote economic growth in the Eurozone. Do you think there's any reason to consider altering that in the light of recent inflation trends? We feel that if the ECB were to raise interest rate, it would be considered hyperinflation and thus impact economies negatively. There is one slide in which the uh, ECB uh, does some quantitative easing and central banks lower interest rates. Um, what do you mean exactly and how does this channel work? Because the banks now have more money due to quantitative easing and they would like to incentivize borrowing. So they will lower their interest rate to allow banks to borrow more money. Each team represented themselves and their schools with great energy, professionalism and commitment. You can be very proud of your achievement in reaching the national final and to each and every one of you I say well done. But without further ado let me tell you this year's national winners are Generation Louis St. Louis Secondary School Monaghan. With what we really great about it was it wasn't just a competition, we've ended up learning a lot. It just shows that we need to have the confidence in ourselves because we do have the ability, it's just a matter of belief. And I think that's what's been the best part is it's given us a great insight into like our future. Mm -hmm.